Hello, my Sagittarian friends. I hope you're doing well. This is Anna. I've got my tarot and my beverage. And we're about to do a four-card draw for you for the full moon coming up on Sunday, August 22nd. So we are looking at what we need to release and let go of. Uh, what transformation needs to take place or how we're going to reach our full potential. Um, what is fully illuminated right now by this moon. Okay, that's what we, we see things in a new light, pun intended, um, during the full moon. So we realize things about stuff that we maybe um, didn't realize before. Right, so... Uh, and then we're going to look at a message from the universe for my Sagittarian friends. What is going on? It's like a camp friggin' shuffle. <laughs> so strange. Usually when they all start falling out on me, it's because one of them has fallen on the floor and I'm not shuffling with a full deck. That's what happens. So I'm like looking on the floor. Pretty sure there would be 78 cards here if I counted them. There we go. All right, for Sagittarius full moon. Let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. There's a lot of like cutthroat, no BS type stuff here, my Sagittarian friends. All right. What we've got to release is some kind of imbalance, okay? Um, probably of a mental sort might have to do with some finances however uh swords is intellect so you know she is balancing there she's learning she's got all these ideas the winds are swirling around her and she could fall off that wee little broomstick or whatever it is that she's trying to trapeze across okay um so this could be an imbalance okay um, something that really isn't working out. And thus, pages are messengers. Okay? So, um, perhaps something that you're saying or putting out to the world is not what needs to be said. I don't know how else to word that. There's another phrase that wanted to come to mind, but then it went blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I don't know what, just an imbalance there, uh, and all of the ideas, right? So like pick an idea, you got all of these ideas floating over your head, but the indecision is what's going to make you topple. So release the need maybe jump you know release the need to stay balanced on that who cares you can't see what's what's below her it could be cushy soft beautiful grass you do see grass coming up there right so it's not necessarily a bad thing so jump quit the balancing act release the need to try and keep things balanced right you can't you can't do it all the time by yourself. Trust me, I know. All right, transformation. How to reach your fullest potential, my Sagittarian friends. And we have the Queen of Swords here visiting us. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient, okay? She is... Um, she's always going to look out for the best, Okay, she's brutally honest. Okay, 
Um, and something that I noticed about this card not long ago was that she keeps her emotions bottled up. She keeps them caged. She does not release them. Okay? So knowing that, okay, keep that maybe, because let's face it, Sagittarians, your fire sign can get a little squirrely and emotional sometimes. Um, so maybe just call on the honesty that we know that you have, right? When you, there's a difference. When you try to be brutally honest, to be brutally honest, you need to leave emotion out of it. You do. It, it makes for a stronger case, okay? If you're trying to prove something, it makes for a stronger case. So I understand why this is happening, okay? Um, but we're fire signs, Sagittarius, so we're very emotional, and, and that happens as well. But in order to reach our fullest potential, perhaps we need to take some of the emotion and set it aside. Right? It's, it's not always easy. It really isn't. I have a little dog who wants to jump up with me. And she did. <laughs> Hi, BB. Hi, BB. You wagging your tail at me? Yes, you are. I know. I know you are. All right. So, illumination. What is coming to light right now? Okay. Uh, the Seven of Swords is quite often a card that, um, you know, usually you see someone with five swords in their hands and they're leaving two of them behind, but they're thieving away the five swords, right? So it's quite often a card of um, deceit, okay? Theft, right? So somebody trying to get away with something. So that is what's being illuminated for you right now, Sagittarius. I know exactly what that is for me. Dealing with a nasty ex. He is. He's a winner, I tell ya. Not sure how I picked him in the first place, but... That being said... Um, that theft, that deceit... You're, you're gonna see it. Right? You're gonna see it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right? This is someone running away from something that they know they did is wrong. They know it. They're not idiots. They know. They know they're deceitful. They know that they're thieving, conniving, little... Right? Yeah. Yeah. They know it. They know it. So they're running and they're turning tail and running. And guess what? Three of the birds got away. Two of the feathers fell out of your pack and you only got two left. So was it really worth it? Probably not. But it is what it is. All right. My Sagittarian friends. Oh my God. He is sexy as all get out. I'm sorry, but... Huh. Look at that. Whew. Yes. Yes to the devil in this case. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Sagittarius, this is the message from the universe for you. All right. The devil is, is all about the things that you could fall prey to. All right the things you need to watch out for, the things you need to be careful with, okay? The devil can indicate um, greed, lust, uh, addiction, right? Materialism, obsession of some kind, right? Um, this person feels like they're a marionette, right? Being played being strung along by this devil's fingers, right? Attached to him. However, that doesn't need to be the case. With all of this cutthroat sword energy, this 
intellectual energy here coming through. If something like this for you, Sagittarius, is going on, you should have no problem embodying that Queen of Swords, putting that emotion in a cage for a limited time, and getting rid of whatever this is. Because whatever he is tempting you with will not serve you. So just be mindful of it. Okay? It might not be... It might not currently be happening for all of you. Alright? But we know how we like to jump into things and go full force head on. Um, but there are some things that maybe we don't want to delve into. And this is just a warning. Just a warning. Could happen, but might not have yet. So just take it and tuck it away for a rainy day. God, tuck that away for a rainy day. Jeez Louise. All right, my Sagittarian friends. I hope this read finds you well. I hope you enjoy the full moon on Sunday. Um, write out those intentions, okay? Get rid of what is not serving you. Embody this queen, okay? Because she will help you. And just be aware that, you know, this, this deceitfulness is, is fully illuminated. And also, I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but it's like a double-edged sword. <laughs> Three of the four cards are swords. But, um... <laughs> It's a double-edged sword to say it this way. However, that deceitfulness or whatnot might not always come from somebody else. Okay? So stay true to yourself. Stay 110% honest 99.999999% of the time. All right? Because this is not what you want illuminated to the rest of the world, right? This is not what, this is not the opinion you want everyone to have of you, right? Because it's not who you are, okay? So, yes, that could be somebody else's energy, um, but if you're not careful, it could also be yours, right? And that's where this might come into play, the devil energy, right? So just be mindful, my Sagittarians, all right? And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now.